Hey guys, my name is Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. I am a part-time reseller of clothing and shoes for men, women, and for kids. And I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today, this morning, I was cleaning up some shoes and filmed it. And I'm gonna do a little voiceover and show you and walk you through how I clean up some shoes to resell. All right, let's go. Okay, first up are these slip-on vent slides. I just wanted to clean up the leather bottoms where there's some toe imprints with this Angelus cleaner. Um, this cleaner just basically gets off surface dirt. There was a little bit visually to the eye, but you couldn't really see it in that picture. Um, so I just wanted to go over it a little bit with the cleaner, make sure all the dirt was off of it and, and hope that a little bit of the indentations would come out. So I'm just going through and giving it a good clean. All right, now I am going to be using some saddle soap. Some saddle soap is really good for when you have leather. It will clean, soften, and preserve it. And in the past, I've been able to pretty much buff out some toe imprints, but you'll still be able to see it a little bit. So I just wanted to use it and see what I could get out. Right, so there is the before and after. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had it in different lighting, but you can see in the top picture, the toe imprints are pretty more defined. And then in the after, it's a little bit more smoothed out because of the saddle soap. So it's really good. I mean, overall, the condition were great. So not too big of a deal. Next are these Salvatore Ferragamo, just little kitten pump heels. They are navy blue and there's not really too much of an issue with them. There was just some light scuffing on them. So I went ahead and got some Kiwi Saddle Soap again and just worked it through the material, buff out some of those scuff marks. Just worked on one shoe at a time and then compared it to the other one. So that is what the top one has the scuff marks in it and the one below, it looks kind of buttery smooth. All right, next up, oh my goodness, these were a nightmare. These were some Meryl Slip-On Mary Janes. I took a picture of them. The bottoms had a bunch of black stuff on them. It wasn't dirt, it wasn't mud. I don't really know what it was, but it was ridiculous. So these shoes probably won't go for much, maybe 20, 25 bucks at best. Um, but I personally don't wanna send out something that dirty to a customer. So I just wanna put in about a good 10 minutes of cleaning them to the best of my ability. So this first thing I'm doing, I just got like a scrubby wipe. Um, right now it's from Muck Daddy. Got some Goo Gone, cause I didn't really know what the substance was. I thought it might be some tacky material. So I tried some Goo Gone that I, I tried it on, on a rag and then on a toothbrush. It still really wouldn't get it out, but I definitely tried it. Loosened it up a good bit, but I really have no idea what the material was cause it definitely wasn't dirt. Anyways, none of that worked, so I got some, just some Dawn soap and warm water and used a rag to kind of loosen up some of the material and then used the toothbrush to try to clean up in the grooves. And it was getting a little bit better, but not the best. All right, so now I'm gonna use a little pick. This one, you can use any kind of pick. You could use an old pen without ink in it or a toothpick. Um, this is just for my husband's toolbox, but I'm just kind of cleaning up the little bit of grooves to get out all the dirt and build up that I could. I use this a lot, a tool like this, when I'm cleaning shoes, so it's just a good little handy tool to have. Now I'm just scrubbing it up some more with some Muck Daddy wipes. Normally I'll use Lysol Dual Action wipes, but of course those have been non-existent the past few months. All right, so here's the before and after. All right, so the after really isn't all, I mean, it's not pristine, it's not crystal clear, but these are gently used shoes, right? They're used shoes. They're gonna be in the bottom, nobody's really gonna see it, but it's way better than what it was before. All right, next, this little box had some really beautiful Tor Tory Burch and Rothy flats in them. They came in a box because they stunk. When you wear flats, um, you're typically not wearing socks. So when I got them, they were a little stinky and I didn't have any baking soda at the time. So I just put some dryer sheets in them and put them in with some air freshener and put them in a box for a few days and it took these right out. I still have some teaks that need to be a little bit, need to sit a little bit longer, but I did get some more baking soda that I'm gonna 
try and get the stink out of that. But for these Tory Burch ones, there's really not a whole lot that needed to be done. I used some of the Angelus cleaner on the bottoms. Next were these Rothy's and they were just kind of dusty. They had some animal hair in them. And then on the bottoms, there were like these little granule, I don't know if it was sand or rocks. I don't know. There's just a bunch of little things stuck up in the grooves of it. So I show you real, real quick here. Just I use the pick to take out every little granular thing. So um, it didn't really take that long to go through all of it. And I just like the way that it looks. So this is really great for a lot of shoes. Just pick out all the little rocks that always get in the grooves for tennis shoes, flats, you name it. So with the insoles, you can just take them out and I was lint rolling them because there was some animal hair on it from, I guess, the previous owner. And then I used the Angelus cleaner because you can use it on um, some like fabric, some canvas kind of material. I've used it before on the inside of like purse liners and it's worked really well. Um, so I just used an old rag and used some of that cleaner and worked on the liners. They were just a little dirty, just trying to work on bringing a little bit more life back into them. At the end of the day, these are used shoes, so I'm not looking for perfection, but just good enough to get the sale. All right, and now I'm just kind of showing you the difference between the liners. One on the left is the one I cleaned, the one on the right was the one that is still a little bit dirty, so you can tell it's been brightened up just a little bit. All right, moving on to just the shoes. I am using the same Angelus cleaner on the rag and just kind of buffing that throughout the shoe. It's like this nice fabric-y canvas type of material, so it's really getting out a lot of the dust that sat in it. It was drying pretty quickly as well. All right, just stuffed the liner back in and that one looked pretty good. So I'm just putting in the other one to compare them. And the one on the left is one that's cleaned up a bit and the one on the right still needs some work. So that's how I clean my Rothy's. All right, that's it for today's video, guys. If you enjoy content like this, please make sure you subscribe. I put out new videos every Monday and Thursday. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button because it will really help out my channel. All right, and if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll catch you next time. All right, take care. Bye.